Welcome on the stage, uh, Carlos. Delighted to have you as always. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and thanks for having me. Very excited to share some, you know, adventures with you today. Sounds good. So when you're ready, Carlos, please do share your slides. When you are ready, begin. And you've got to give me a cue so I know when to, when to <laughs> change the slides. Perfect, yeah. perfect. Okay, let's do it. So I guess a uh, quick intro on who we are, right? Um, if, if you go to the previous slide. Uh, so Bot Factory has been working for a little bit more than uh, 10 years. Um, go to slide two, please. Next one, yeah. There you go. Uh, so essentially what we do is we create uh, additive manufacturing equipment. We focus mainly on PCB manufacturing Although it has different, uh, you know, ways to perceive what a PCB really is, but we're trying to aim at uh, rigid PCBs for prototyping and uh, low volume productions. Um, our processes are being additive, uh, a little bit more uh, conscious with uh, the environment. So we don't do hazardous waters or things like that. Uh, but or important advantages is how quickly we can improve the capacity for for a production, right? So we can we can enable production very quickly, and and that's a key component of what we offer. So if we go to the next one, today additive manufacturing of PCBs for low volume manufacturing. So there's a lot to to unpack here. So I'll try to do it as best as possible. Uh, let's go to the next slide. I guess uh, the, the the premise is. Uh, if you're producing a four layer board and it takes 10 days to days, uh, today, can you actually make it in four hours? And what are you getting out of it, right? So uh, up to what point is that board that you're receiving uh, after four hours of printing is comparable to the one that you received after 10 days of waiting, right? So how do you compare those two things? Um, I guess the important, the, the, the starting point is, uh, is the process, right? So what does the process look like for a standard commercially available PCB that you order today? So we're looking at a process that could have 20 plus steps uh, where you just, you know, have the, the alignment, the core cutting, drilling, all this, like each of these steps oftentimes requires a, a specialized machine with someone taking care of this. Um, someone has to be like usually a chemical engineer is, is required uh, in, in, inside. Um, I haven't heard a few incidents where, you know, if chemicals are left too long uh, in the in a room or something like that, you can start uh, experiencing like accidents, right? So you have uh, undesired corrosions or uh, fires, right? Uh, toxic toxic uh, air being accumulated in a, in a, a well ventilated a room and things like that. So this process is a complex process. It requires a lot of knowledge. It requires a lot of uh, maintenance, and it, uh, it it can be complicated. The more layers you go, right, the, the more you have. So let's try to break down what are the alternatives on doing this, right? So if you go to the next layer, the next slide, sorry. Thank you. So I'm going to very quickly go through this additive manufacturing technology matrix. I'm leaving out technologies like, for example, uh, milling, uh, which is, is, is well known for many people. Uh, the reason why I leave it out is because when you get to multi-layering of boards where you have to sandwich them and all that and then prepare, that is uh, it's a very complicated process. It's very, very involved. So I'm going to focus on the additive manufacturing. And I essentially com uh, compare three uh, main candidates, that's extrusion, silk screen, uh, and, and engine systems, right? Um, and if you look on the right, what you will find is that the extrusion system is probably the easiest one to use, right? It's, it's the one that is uh, compatible with most materials, uh, usually like, you know, uh, from the perspective of conceptualizing the function of an extrusion system is, is fairly straightforward. So that also means that you can maintain it relatively easily and uh, even more like acquiring uh, technology that does it uh, is, is not as expensive. Uh, the challenge with that is that you have uh, low speeds, true holes are tricky, so it will require quite a, quite a bit of a manual interaction. And I think one of the, one of the tricky ones is actually you end up with a, you, you call it bumpy 
finish, right? So you will have whatever you have material, you have a bump or you have, don't have material, you don't have it. 